Hello everyone, my name is Ksenia and I'm an application specialist in BioVitrum company. We continue talking about histology and today we will discuss the beginning of every histological study – fixation. Fixation is necessary to preserve the native structure of the tissue. If the tissue is not fixed, the autolysis will start and the structure will change because of enzymatic decomposition. There are many different fixative solutions, but the golden standard in histology is 10% neutral buffered formalin. The majority of methods of histochemistry are validated for formalin fixed tissue. Formalin is a 40% aquatic solution of formaldehyde stabilized with methanol. Formalin is widely used because of number of factors. High speed of diffusion in tissue, the capability to preserve the shape and structure of samples and provide long-term fixation. The mechanism of fixation is based on the interaction of formalin with tissue proteins. It reacts with the hydrogen in amino acids and forms methylene bridges between them. Why it is important to use 10% formalin? This concentration ensures the good quality of fixation. If the concentration is too low, then the tissue will be not fixed. If the concentration is too high, then the outer layers of the sample will be fixed too quick and will become too dense, so the formalin molecules will have no opportunity to penetrate the tissue. As a result, the inner layers will stay raw and the autolysis will start. Why it is important to use neutral buffered formalin? If the concentrated formalin is just diluted with water, this solution will be acidic. Fixation of tissue with such solution will lead to formation of formalin pigment, black or brown spots on the samples, which will obstruct diagnostics. To make the solution neutral, it is necessary to add some salts for buffer, for example, sodium hydrophosphate and dehydrophosphate. The white sediment can be formed in formalin solution because of the storage at the low temperature. This is formalin polymer, paraformaldehyde. It is not recommended to use formalin with sediment for histological study. Fixation usually consists of two steps. The first, when the whole organ is fixed in formalin during its transportation to the laboratory. And the second, when the samples are fixed after the grossing. If the material was not fixed properly on the first step, it is very important to comply all the conditions on the second step. Besides the use of 10% neutral buffered formalin of good quality, there are several other conditions which are important for proper fixation. The thickness of the samples after grossing should be about 3 or 4 mm. It will provide the good penetration of formalin in the tissue and all parts of the material will be fixed. The volume ratio of the material and fixative solution should be 1 to 20. For example, if your sample has volume of 675 microliters, then you need to add 13 and a half milliliter of fixative solution. If you have 20 samples, then you need to use 270 milliliters of formalin. You can always count the amount of formalin that you need for your work. One more important factor is the duration of fixation. 24 hours is considered to be enough for good quality. It is important to remember that some methods have restrictions on formalin fixation. For example, special stains for lipids can be done only in frozen sections. Always pay attention on what is written in the instruction. Fixation is the first step of the histological study. That's why all the mistakes will lead to the loss of the diagnostical value of the sample. How fixation is organized in your lab? Write in comments, ask your questions, press like if this video was useful for you. Thank you. See you soon.